Well, hello, it's Bears back. I thought I'd do a little um, video uh, on um, the best series of locks. Uh, I've been watching people pick Adam and and all that stuff, and and a lot of people I enjoy them. I I think they're a great lock. Um, so what I wanted to explain is to mostly the new pickers. Um, if you're thinking about getting into doing the best locks, uh, you think, okay, it's cool. I've seen them, you know, pop off the back clip and push this out and stuff. That only works on a few of them. A few of them have those C clips on the back. Most of the best locks on the back are tacked in place. Now, I've cut this one off. This is my little training. Um, so I can show uh, how it how it works in your sleeve and you know this is uh, your control section and it's it's only so high so your pins uh, your key pins and then you got your control pins and you got driver pins up in here and then of course your springs and your cap um, but yeah, it's it's a little bit more than you think it is. It's kind of like uh, working on a regular lock and putting wafers in to to um, to do a couple of keys on a regular lock. It's like setting this one up for two keys to work it by putting wafers in. Okay, so let's get on with this. Um, if you're thinking about trying to get into this. You can do the way I started to do and get an old boy, a piece of wood and kind of groove it out and drill a hole in it, you know, in certain places and then in the back end just drill a tiny hole where I could push a little wire in to push the pieces out and lay them out. Uh, you can do that and you can knock them out that way. Um, because you're going through the bottom knocking them out the top um, and when I did it um, I still got these things I don't know why I keep them in a kit don't need them but um, that's your guide you know key guide um, let's see right here I think are a couple of them I uh, this is my knockout rod and it's just a piece of piano wire that fit and this I keep them I guess for nostalgia I guess and this was my capping tool and what this was is a Dremel brush and I hacked that it was worn out and I just hacked it off to cap because if you can see that let me see if you can see that. To cap it, and this this would block it from going too far, and it only capped that much. So, yeah, um, I did it the old-fashioned way in a vice, you know. But when you get into it, if you start getting into it, um, these are all your <laughs> your pins. I think these are all the uh, bottom pins. Let me check. Um, let's look. Yeah, it's the bottom pins. Um, and each one of these packs, if you do it yourself instead of buying it, you get a hundred in each, and they cost you around a dollar eighty something, maybe dollar ninety uh, for each one of these packs. And you got all your pins, and you set up your box, and uh, these are my spools. Uh, there's uh, eights and tens. And I'll explain that in a little bit. Your eights and tens are your sizes when you go to repin. Uh, and your caps are down here. They're a couple bucks for a hundred and then a couple bucks for a hundred springs. And, um, but I set this up, this whole thing up for probably 40 bucks less than uh, 
a kit that you buy from them with 25 pins each and stuff. And I get 100 pins each just doing it myself. Um, and then these are all your basically uh, wafers and uh, key pins. And you got to have these bad boys. And you got you're looking at the same thing about a dollar eighty, dollar ninety per hundred, and it's not that bad, but it does add up. It really does, guys. Um, it'll cost you. Um, also, when I do a lock, I have this. These are all your wafer. Um, yeah, these are all your wafer sizes right down here. Um, these are your key pin sizes here. And when I take one apart and I want to rekey it and I got all these leftover wafers and stuff, so I measure them and find out where they go and I throw them in the kit. So these are, this is really handy to have. Um, and then of course you got to put the thing together and take it apart. So I bought the annex kit. Okay, this is about run you about 150 bucks. Um, you can knock them out. You can repin them. You got the Bible. Uh, you got your knockout and your capping tool. Um, and that's some more expense if you really want to get into doing this. So. Um, you might want to think about, do you really want to get into doing best locks? Or do you want to send them to somebody and have them do them for you? You know? Um, oh, I got to put that back. Anyway, um, now I'm going to take you over to another problem. Over to the computer. So let's head that way. Okay, we're over here at the CLK Supplies and their, um, their best keys. Um, now, the first two you have here are the Arrow 1C and the Arrow 1D. Um, that's for the Arrow locks. And then we start with the best. And you can see the keyways here. Um, you start with the A keyway, the B keyway. Um, just follow along this way. Uh, the BA, the BE2, the best C, the D, the DD, the E, the F. The F is the one that's, uh, I, I'm pretty sure Mako is the one using that one right now, popular with their theirs and the FM now on the FM you need to look here all the rest of them just say you know but this one says key fits A D E F N G this is a good one to have right here if you're gonna do this you need one of these you can buy you can cover all of those all right and that's the FM then we move down and we got the G the H uh, the J, the K, and the K keyway. You see this little knob on it right here? I'm pretty sure that's the one, um, the keyway that uh, um, Murloc 68's working with right now in that lock. He's trying to get to control. He's, and I've had these best keys, uh, best keyways, or uh, not the keyway itself, but the best lock. I could never get it to control and I had to end up drilling the, the core out. You know, I had to drill out the, uh, the, the the driver pins and dump it and pull the core. And there's videos on that if you need to do that. Um, then you got the L, starting back over here. You got the L, the M, the Q, the TA, the TB, the TD. Now, in the T series, I haven't seen any of these yet. Um, I, I, got, I think I got to the TE. Then you got the WA, 
Then you got the WB, the WC, the WD, WE, uh, WG, the WH, the WI, and this is the government one. Uh, and it's sold out. I mean, I, I should have bought a few of them. I don't know why I didn't. I should have bought a few of them. But uh, anyway, uh, but it's it's government and it's K key. So I figured what, you know, K key, you know, same thing, you know. So, okay, so that's that's the, your <laughs> your choices uh, as far as this goes of keys that are available for if you're trying to get into this um, all right let's move back over I needed to add this you're also gonna need to cut a key for your lock so either you have to have a regular old-fashioned cutter and some depth and space keys or you're going to need a code cutter or you're going to need to send it to somebody to code cut for you or you can hand file it but you also need to be able to cut your keys so that's an added whatever so okay let's get on back okay we're back <laughs> uh, now you've seen some of the costs You've seen some of the stuff you got to do. Um, now, you can use the original pins when you pin one of these locks up. You can just decode it and put it all back together. But the problem is, I've had, I've had locks, not this one, but I've had locks that had tons, tons of wafers in them. I mean... You could sti almost stick a stick in and work the stick up and down and open the dang lock because there were so many wafers in the thing. All you had to do was get one pin to the shear line and you could just bump the rest of them and they'd just open because it was so pathetic. I mean, I, I don't know what people think. You know, they're, they've lost their minds. Um, you might as well have just gave everybody the same key to a master lock. But yeah, so you want to keep it simple, and that's the old saying, keep it simple, stupid. Okay, so most of the time, you just all you want, you don't want extra keys, you don't want all that stuff. I have those, I've done those, but you want you want your key pin, control pin, driver pin. It's all you want, and that's all you really need um, so when you start mastering it it can get easier to oh it gets easier to open so and I, I'm really I this is one of my favorites right here because when I open this one up I put all the pins right back in it I just cut the keys for it um, because that was the thing that was the thing with it it was just the three pins you know key pin control pin and and driver pin and this so it's basically all original i just made keys for it and i love that i love being able to to do that um oh by the way thumper uh thumper sent me this he wanted a it did, it came to him without a core. Well, Thumper, you got a core. Um, so I'll be sending this back to you with your other locks, or I, if you want this in a hurry, I'll send it back to you right away. Um, and here's here's your bidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, have fun. You know. Um, so uh, there's no tricks in it there's no special pins in it or anything like that it's just it's original the original stuff so anyway guys that's that's the video it's it's uh do you 
do you want to venture into the best locks um, it's it's more than what a lot of people think it is um, and then they're going to be spending money here and there and you know but these things are not cheap when you go to buy them um, so yeah it's up to you but that's for all you newer pickers uh, to make your own decisions if you want to venture this way or you want to go another way um, so that's that's about the best information I can give you guys well thanks for watching everybody uh, stay legal and have fun bye